Madam Laila Lagar Mascarenas, Schools Division Superintendent, Schools Division of Calapan City, Madam Maria Castetta Andaya, PhD, Public Schools District Supervisor, Mr. Mark Weto, Division Education Program Supervisor, Dr. Nimrod Matige, who is not here with us today, Dr. John Edel Bakiran, Assistant Principal for Senior High School Academics, Ms. Reynita De Hukos, Assistant Principal for Junior High School Academics, Mr. Ronnie Carinal, Assistant Principal for Operations and Learner Support, Dear teachers, parents, graduates, a pleasant afternoon to all of you. Magandang hapon. It is my great honor to come back here at my alma mater and speak to the graduating batch of 2022. It's been 32 years since I graduated from this very same institution Nang tawag namin noon ay JJ. Short for Jose J. Dale Jr. Memorial National High School. It was also in this same place that I delivered my valedictory speech and proudly marched to get my diploma together with my classmates and friends. Utang namin sa aming mga guro at sa paaralan ito ang paghubog sa aming pagkatao. Tatlong dekata na nga nakakalipas. And now I come back here with hopefully some wisdom gained from the years of learning and experience that I wish to impart with you this afternoon. Nung matanggap ko ang invitasyon para maging guest speaker sa inyong pagtatapos, Naisip ko na isa itong okasyon na hindi ko pwede palampasin. And so, I flew all the way from Thailand, where I have been based for many years now, to be with you here today. Habang nasa eroplano ako, I started to reflect on what I can say to inspire you, to encourage you, and to awaken your hearts and minds you discover your person and your passion. Sabi ko parang mahirap because we have, we, we seem to have more differences than commonalities. Generation X ako. Generation Z kayo. The generational gap between us is so wide. The environment particularly the technological landscape that we live in before and now are light years apart. The cool kids of JJ in the 1990s had Walkman, which is your version of iPad or Spotify. We had small box type television, Betamax to watch movies, and landline telephones. There were no computers and definitely no smartphones. We wore high-cut KP shoes and the hairspray was the girl's best friend. The challenges, challenges and adversities that we faced then were different and maybe even less complicated than what we may be facing now. But I believe that the aspirations, the dreams, and the things that we hold dear are very much the same. I can feel the sense of joy and gratitude that you, graduating batch of 2022, together with your families and friends, feel as you finish high school. This is indeed a noteworthy accomplishment a culmination of 12 years of hard work and focus. This may not be the end of the road to achieve your highest goals in life, but it is still worthy of celebration. Your generation faced unique adversities 
that the COVID pandemic brought. Two years of schooling online was not an easy feat. Hindi madali yun. And yet, you are now here to celebrate your success. So congratulations to you, to your parents, the teachers, and all the people around you who are part of this milestone. You see, in the past 10 years or so, I had the wonderful opportunity of traveling to different parts of the world in line with my work on professional development and capacity building. I also trained young people of various nationalities on the areas of leadership and social responsibility. And through this, I observed certain characteristics that make young people stand out and excel. Those who stand out are those who display the seven C's of resilience. Gusto nyo bang malaman kung ano ang seven C's na yan? Gusto nyo? Alright. So the first C is character. Both performance character strengths and moral character strengths. Performance strengths include qualities like grit, G-R-I-T. Ano ba yung grit na yan? Siguro some of you have already come across the word before. Grit is the ability to stick to the things that are important to you to accomplish what matters even when things get tough. It is seeing challenges as something to overcome rather than a reason for giving up. Sabi nga ng mga bagets tulad nyo, carry lang yan, push natin yan. Diba? There is no giving up kahit mahirap ang course, um, ma mahina ang wifi, o terror, o teacher, o mahirap ang buhay, mahirap ang trabaho. Greed is important when it comes to achieving your goals. And resilience is another term, sometimes interchangeably used with greed. Resilience is the ability to cope with adversity and to bounce back. So I guess resilience is an essential ingredient in those with greed. Now, moral character strengths involve qualities like commitment to justice, fairness, and universal respect for others. Moral character enables us to be resilient and to experience gratitude even during challenging moments. Sa madaling salita, sikapin natin maging mabuting tao sa lahat ng sitwasyon. The other C's of resilience include confidence, competence, connection, contribution, coping, and control. Let me explain these six C's using my own real-life story. You see, I was born in a middle-class family. Hindi kami mayaman, hindi rin mahira. My father, sitting over there, loves to call himself a farmer. Magsasaka daw siya. Although, he also worked as an ordinary government employee, together with my mother. We are five siblings. I'm the eldest. At lahat kami graduate ng JJ. Our parents made clear that we had only one chance to finish our studies on the course of our choice. So dapat magpakaigi kami. Dahil pag hindi, if we blow off that one chance, pwedeng wala na second chance. Di ba kami? 
So the family's limited resources had to be allocated to those deserving. Kaya naman, nagpakahusay kaming lahat sa aming pag-aaral, sa aming trabaho, sa aming buhay. Pero hindi yun madali. The journey to whatever small or big success in life is not always easy. Dahil marami nga kami nag-aaral ng sabay-sabay, sobrang paghigpit ng sinturon ng buong pamilya. Lumaki kami na walang TV sa bahay dahil daw nakaka-istorbo sa pag-aaral at siguro parang tipid na rin sa kuryente. We did not complain kung ano man ang kayang maibigay ng magulang, yun lang ang pinagkakasya namin. We learned to be content kahit pa karangyaan ang nakikita namin sa ibang tao at sa aming mga kaibigan. Naalala ko, when I was in college, isa lang ang jeans ko. Yes, isa lang maung ko na pantalon. I was a state scholar and also a consistent dean's lister. So I had stipend. I had allowance to enjoy. Pero matipid ako because I understood my parents' sacrifices. During semester break, tumutulong ako sa anumang small business na pwede yung pagkakitaan ng pamilya. Nagbabalot kami ng uling at binibenta natin sa palengke. Nagbabantay sa tindahan. May maliit kaming tindahan. Maka uling yata, umuling ba? Gumagawa ng yelo at ice candy. So tulong-tulong para sa kabuhayan. Hindi siya glamorous. Pero hindi ko rin ikinakahiya. And so, at this time of crisis and financial adversity brought by the pandemic, kailangan ng mga kabataan Pinoy na maging madiskarte at mapamaraan. If financial resources are not enough, get a part-time job. Learn to hustle for a living. Think of ways on how you can contribute and how you can cope with adversities that come your way. I also believe that one learns beyond the four walls of the classroom. So nagpakaigi ako, hindi lang sa academics, but I made the most of my college life to develop myself into an all-around person. College life is not just about aiming for good grades. It is also about enriching your life with experiences that develop your character and personality. So, I enjoy you to participate in extracurricular activities. Be it the student union, the theater's club, sports, choir, dance club, or any other activities of your interest. Companies don't hire new employees based on school grades only, but more on the meaningful experiences that develop leadership skills, communication skills, and confidence. I am proud to say that this four-feet, 11 inches woman to speak to you now was, aside from graduating Manya Cum Laude, also became president of Student Union, editor-in-chief of the college paper, and co-founder of Society of Young Leaders. You can be all that or some. What's important is you put yourself out there and make the most of your college life in terms of learning and growing as a person. Pero sabi nga nila, ang totoong laban ng buhay ay nasa labas ng eskwelahan. Sa labas. To those of you who will go to who will not go to college but instead 
will be joining the workforce early. Don't ever think that you are less than others or that you deserve little just because you don't have a college degree. Maniwala kayo sa inyong mga kakayahan. Marami na rin nagtapos ng TVL na meron ang matatag na trabaho o sariling negosyo. Your options are actually endless. Just trust in yourself and open your eyes to see windows of opportunities. As you join the workforce or start your own enterprise, Bastang magsipag lang, maging determinado, lakasan ang loob, at pagbutihin lagi ang anumang gawain. Who would have thought that a simple girl from the province like me would be able to travel the world, meet important people, acquire higher education, and create impact in her own way to society? Swerte ba yun? Faith? O hard work? Must be a combination of them all. But most important is hard work. Also remember that success shouldn't be an end goal. Because success is a never-ending process towards happiness and fulfillment and it is changing because goals change as you go old. Now as you end this season of your life and usher in a new journey, I say pursue your dreams. Although life may not usually follow the plans you lay out for yourself. It's still good and helpful to have a plan than nothing at all, especially when it is your future at stake. It is even better to have plan A, plan B, and plan C, so that in case plan A didn't work, you still have alternatives. You may one day become a company CEO, or you may not, but that's okay. Okay lang yun. Ang importante, you have already taken the initial steps needed to build a more promising future. Remember that every decision you make, how you choose to spend your time, the people you surround yourself with, the activities you participate in, all these choices should be geared towards achieving the life you want to have. So be intentional with your choices. Take charge of your own life. It is a tough world out there and nothing will be handed to you. You have to earn it. And it will mean more to you because you will earn it. And my last piece of advice. Wash your bowl. Wash your bowl, B-O-W-L. Dito sa Mindoro, ang tawag natin ay bowl. Shout out sa bowl. So, wash your bowl. Yes, you heard me right. Wash your bowl. Sa Tagalog, hugasan nyo ang inyong pinagkainan. Plato man yan o mangkok. To explain, let me tell you this story. May isang lalaki nakakapasok lang sa monasteryo para maging isang monk o mongha. Alam niyo ba, monk o mongha? Right? So, tinanong niya ang pinaka-leader doon. Sabi niya, I have just entered here. Please teach me what to do. 
Bago lang ako dito, turuan mo ako kung anong mga dapat kong gawin. Sumagot yung leader. Have you eaten your rice porridge? Kumain ka na ba ng lugaw? Sabi ng mong, Yes, I have eaten. Oo, kumain na ako. Sabi ng leader, Then, you had better wash your bowl. Kung ganoon, hugasan mo na ang pinagkainan mong mangko. At doon, naunawaan ng mong kung ano ang dapat niyang gawin. At that moment, the mong was enlightened. This story is about completing what you started. About being present in all you do instead of rushing to the next activity. It is also about not trying to avoid unpleasant situations, but rather finding the silver lining in everything. Of course, actually doing this can be incredibly challenging. But that's why they call it a practice. Because you will have to do it over and over and over. And life is a lot like this. College is a lot like this. You will have to do things that you don't like, that are difficult. But you just have to do it if you want to succeed. So don't forget to wash your bowl. Hugasan mo ang iyong pinagkainan. Congratulations at mabuhay ang Batch 2022. Maraming salamat.